Welcome back to Chat Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Gatsu. He did a video on passport girls. You know, the things that they that women claim that passport bros do. Women do it in droves and they're open about it. They're, they're like they are so this is why women project what men do. Because there's women out there that are doing exactly what they're describing that what passport bros do. So please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And let's get to that ciao. It's ciao time. Imagine 20% of your country's GDP being made up of British pensioner women coming to your country. 20% of a country's GDP? Damn, that's huge. Country to f you see, the situation in Gambia is so insane that the Gambian Tourism Board had to come out and basically tell British women to f*** off and go to someplace else because they're trying their best to attract quality tourists. Tourists who come to enjoy the country and the culture, but not the tourists who come just for sex. I've already made a video. Shocker, you know, like, this is why when people visit Asian countries, it's... They, there's other things to do in Asian countries, but when you're going to Gambia, <laughs> at least much for women, they're going for fun. About British dudes doing this. Also, they're literally just creeps to women most of the time. Did you see that Muslim chick? See the eyes? Hi, would you like to come for a drink with me? Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, too. sometimes, where's the hotties? Yeah. Everyone likes the lovely girl. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Behenji. Mate. Oh, what are you? Go to what, you. What are you doing, mate? You're a girl. Come and talk to us. Let's talk. We can oh, talk to oh, you. Oh, you're just a nasty little... But turns out, something about British people makes them despise each other and not date each other. Which is why they go to poor countries as quote-unquote tourists. Like, yeah, bro, I'm sure you went to fucking Belarus because you were interested in the culture. I'm sure you went to this fucking village shit of Belarus to just experience the authentic Belarusian culture. So, because I already <laughs> smacked the booty of one side, now it's time for the pensioner women. So the situation is Gambia is just horrible and disgusting in my opinion. Where fucking Susan, who's 60, goes to Gambia to just pay people like 500 quid to get some BBC. And the locals there basically have no other choice but to comply. Of course there are Gambian men who don't do this, but living in Yeah, I mean, when you're in poverty, and you just need to give them a little bit of dick to, to get fed. I don't think it's... I don't blame these people. Gambia is fucking hard, bro. And these 60-year-old Anglos take advantage of this in every way. Oh, Susan, I just found this place in Africa where the average person makes $300 a year. We should go there and do you know what. It's extremely exploitative to pay someone like double their yearly salary for them to be your boy toys. And you know this shit wouldn't happen if Gambia was a place where you could earn a decent living. Get these motherfuckers on an American minimum wage and they'd be slapping the fish and chips out of these grannies as as soon as they offer them their bullshit. Why Gambia? Out of all the places in the world? I'll let low tier god, an expert on this subject, explain this. Low tier god, an expert on BBCology. Because when the Europeans came on the ships and seen our African asses bouncing and titties jiggling like National Geographic, tall statues, thick thighs, they was blown away. Never seen it, never seen bodies like that until they landed in Africa. Never seen big ass, juicy titties with a nice big ass black brown cheeks bouncing as they run across the, the golden field of wheat never seen that shit before absolute documentaries made an amazing documentary about this and i'll be using some clips from their documentary as well it will be linked in the description the dude doing the documentary had been to gambia 15 years ago before this one and he describes his experience there were sort of older white women around they were incredibly they, they were grabby like i got grabbed and pulled onto someone's lap once she See, there's a difference between men and women, right? Well, these women are allowed to be grabby and do whatever the fuck they want. You think men can just go out to these other countries and just grab women and do whatever they want? Fuck no. Get a hand up my t-shirt. She was all giggling and laughing with her friends. Um, she sort of stopped a bit when she heard my accent. But really, she carried on. I mean, she would have carried on <laughs> if I didn't stop her. 
And that was my first experience. That's the first time I realized that this country is a place where the rules are completely different. And then he went into a nightclub where there was a whole strip designed for tourists. And in the nightclub, there are literally hundreds, hundreds of old white women with young Gambian men. On the plane to Gambia, all he saw was just white women going there. The ratio of male and female was not orthodox, to say the least. And he met up with this British woman living in Gambia who said that it's a fun time because you could have two or three men in a day and it doesn't matter how she god dang two or three men in a day i wonder if they're busting it raw in a foreign country like that this is why they come back with so much diseases Ugh, women are the harborer of diseases dresses and how people just flock to her if they see the white skin you only have to be walking down the road hmm you can be wearing your scruffy clothes. It doesn't matter. They see the white skin. They want chance. And then what? And then she just proceeded to cook up the worst fucking sentence I've ever heard. They want chance. And then what? Does he ask for money straight off? Like, I'll, I'll come back home with you if you give me X? No, they're not that blatant. But it's not long after you've bought a home that they start saying, oh, well, my mum. Did she just say bought a man? Oh, god damn. That's how they see view it? Holy shit. She's a bit sick and she needs to go to the hospital and I haven't quite got the money and oh, my children's school fees are due and I ain't quite got the, you know, they'll come up with some excuse every time. They class it as a job. They've just got to put up with her for a certain amount of time, let her think they're in love with her. She's going to go back to England. Oh, I've found my soulmate, blah, blah, blah. Because they're, they're good at talking. Yeah. They're good at talking. It's just the way they are. You ain't never gonna change them. It's the mentality that they've got. It's just the way they are. You ain't never gonna change them. It's the mentality. Oh yeah, bro, a whole country's men just decided to be boy toys only because they wanted to and it's just their mentality. Move them to a rich first world country. You think they're gonna be doing the same thing? Fuck no. These people are desperate for money and she's just like, oh, it's the mentality. Why are these people like this? Oh yeah, mate, they do that because it's the mentality and not because they live in a place like this. Can you not find a woman in Gambia? There are a lot of Gambian women who love me, but I don't want to marry to a black. I'm a poor guy, you mm. understand? Mm. I am a poor guy. I don't want to marry to a poor guy. In the next level, I cannot take care of her. So the money comes from European yeah, women? Yeah, from European women and all ladies. Obviously, they really help black people, you know. Mm. It's an appreciation that we appreciate it a lot. A lot. It helps us a lot. Man, they do appreciate the black white people, at least. Like, I want to. Do you want to marry her? You know, if I have a wife whom you know that she appreciates me and loves me, I would marry the guy. Obviously, from my heart. I will not even wait till tomorrow. If it is today, we we'll make it tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna get married. These people are not even hiding it. These relationships are so transactional, it's actually insane. And before some people say, Oh, God, so every relationship is transactional. <laughs> please, bro, please, stop <laughs> the cap. Relationships are only transactional if you make them out to be. People love each other. I disagree with that. All relationships are transactional in one way or another. It's a transaction of emotions and funds and provisioning it's just always been like that for who they are and do not trade them for other for example more beautiful or more successful people it's the same thing as seeing a handsome dude with an average looking girl and being like oh why is he with her he could do so much better maybe he just loves her bro <laughs> How about that one? How about that one? Maybe he just loves her and doesn't want to leave her. Dude, maybe he or she's like, okay, this guy is not red pilled at all, from what I can tell from how he's commentating. No, but it's most likely because these women are nicer and these women have the things that that met these men want. That's why you know. And usually, the the more gorgeous women come with more fucking baggage. He does not want to quote unquote do better and wants to be with this person forever no matter who else he finds. Yeah, this Gambia thing is not one of those relationships though. Both parties know exactly what the other one wants. This is just pro-
constitution with more steps. The dude in this situation is being exploited because he was born in fucking Gambia where making money is next to impossible but he has to survive somehow. And the older woman is just someone nobody wants to fuck so she just exploits these young Gambian Ouch. men for her own sexual needs and gives them money to survive and in some cases passport privilege as well. And like the whole situation is just extremely weird. For example this couple, a Gambian man and a British woman had a house together and the whole thing was supposed to be built by this Gambian man and then they were gonna live there together and this Gambian man was going on about oh yeah this house costs like 70 80 thousand euros which is not money you can get in Gambia the woman mm. said she didn't give him any money to help him build the house the dude just looks fucking dead inside while talking and he said he worked as an engineer and had some other contracts which is how he was able to afford to build this full ass house in around five years and I don't know man a lot of stuff just doesn't match mm. you got 80 thousand euros in Gambia to build this house and you look dead inside while being with your girlfriend and on top of that the dude who was doing the documentary saw an ad that said this house was for rent and then he confronted the woman saying it was for rent and she said it was supposed to be rented out before they were gonna live there together but the rental sign has been up for more than two years what the fuck what the fuck is going on bro just a lot of different characters partaking in this action the woman who thinks the men are doing it just because it's the mentality there's a dude named fucking Karl Marx <laughs> Hey! We're joined by Karl Marx. He's been working on the beach for the last few years, trying to make a living from tourists. Who said he doesn't want to marry a Gambian woman because he does not want to be poor? Him being named Karl Marx is the most suitable name <laughs> because it's literally rich people taking advantage of the poor. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. Going to another country just to get BBC is crazy to me. The thing is, though, there are a ton of people who just travel to these poor regions because they want to experience the culture and just vibe check the whole place. So a lot of British people who actually want to travel for different reasons probably get accused of being there for the wrong reasons like if i hear a british dude going to belarus i'm instantly assuming he wants to date white women and the women in london are too posh for him one of the reasons i'm happy i have a georgian passport is one i can visit the european union without a visa two I cannot get accused of being a passport bro. Even if I go to Thailand, they'll be like, oh, Georgian passport. Oh, you poor mountain man who was a little <laughs> communist for 70 years and exports dictators. Me, me, me. <laughs> Kinda off topic here, but it's hilarious how a vocal minority of UK citizens have created a horrible stereotype for all British tourists aboard. Ouch. I was in Ooh, that was some good chow. There are still some more of this clip, but uh, it's like a 15 minute video. I only did about like nine minutes of this because uh, I wanted to cut it a little shorter, but damn. Like that's how bad it is in Gambia that they're, you know, the government is releasing press releases to say stop coming here for sex <laughs> and women want to say we're the degenerate ones and the dusties and the undesirables please subscribe down below i really appreciate that and uh, i'll catch you guys next time ciao